Now going over to the political part of the podcast, you have Elon on the Trump guilty verdict that was delivered last week. Now, this comes to us thanks to Elon's ex-Twitter account, and he is responding to Geiger Capital, and Geiger Capital says, quote, The first felony conviction of a former U.S. president wasn't for Iraq or Afghanistan wars, illegal CIA co- coups, drones striking weddings, or spying on Americans. It was because Trump misclassified a $130,000 payment to a porn star's NDA. Tell us or tells you everything you need to know, unquote. That got 42 million views and 120,000 likes, which, yeah, there was a U.S. president who actually executed American citizens overseas without a trial with a drone strike. And they also killed his son with a drone strike without any due process because they had a suspicion he was involved in terrorist activities. So I just blew him up. Not a lot of people talk about that with Obama's legacy. He was one of the best when it comes to marketing, though, in terms of politics. Uh, Elon responded to that saying, quote, Indeed, great damage was done today due to the public's faith in the American legal system. If a former president can be criminally convicted over a, such a trivial matter, motivated by politics rather than justice, then anyone is at risk of a similar, similar fate. It got 39 million views and 374,000 likes. Thought my, my extra like would be to make it go 375,000. It was not the one additional vote or like needed to push over the hub. But nevertheless, there are a lot of people concerned. Yeah, why is this misclassification of a billing error, not billing error, misclassification of this financial transaction? That's that got Trump guilty. The judge also, you know, changed the rules multiple times. Instructions were unclear to the jurors, and they also said no to Trump's demand, which a very common demand is to ask for a change of venue. You see this with a lot of high-profile cases where they think because of the locality and the impact of the incident. That there can't be an unbiased jury. And in New York, I think Trump got like 6% last time. It's heavy blue, like Illinois or California. And Trump had asked, or his legal team has asked, could we relocate this to somewhere that, you know, maybe it's a swing state or maybe it's a, you know, a state where you can get a more equal representation on a juror pool. And of course, they shot that idea down. The judge also happened to have, you know, a daughter who gets money from the DNC and volunteers. Uh, one of the first comments comes from Sir Doge of the Coin, who Ableist marketing, just because that's cute as hell. And the picture of is, of course, of Sir Joge. It's basically, it's a little comic, or no, it's not a comic, it's a meme. And it's Trump sitting down at a court, and his lawyer speaking. The lawyer goes, lawyer, the lawyer under his breath says, quote, guilty people say what? And then the defendant says what? And the lawyer goes, no further questions, your honor. I got 9.8 thousand likes. Just quite a few to say at least. And a friendly reminder to take the one one thousandth of a second to like this video. Or give it a downvote if you hate it, and let me know in the comments why. What could I do better? Elon responded getting with a smiley or no laugh emoji, getting 6,000 likes. Got our favorite contrarian. Well, not really favorite, but appreciate more perspectives because life gets a little bit boring if you're in an echo chamber. Luke Salisi, who's a famous leftist. Well, not famous leftist. A moderately well-known leftist who has a profile picture of a V-neck, which obviously weak fashion to say the least. And the highlight of his life, which he pr probably pins to the top of his ex profile, is talking about how boys should not be allowed to play football, which also tells you everything you need to know about Luke. Luke says, quote, just a friendly reminder, Elon is a right-wing media mogul with massive interest in various fields that require government oversight and regulation, who is openly and not so openly utilizing his giant social media state media state news platform to serve his own personal and political purposes, unquote. Compared to most of the actors, but they did get 3.5 thousand likes. Because again, there are millions of Americans who are very happy that Trump was now legally considered a felon. Now, Again, I wonder if Luke got ratioed. 120 people, 24 people, oh, he's going up. 134 people respond to him. And Elliot Noma says he's not right wing. You're just so far out that you think he is getting 28 likes. So he was not ratioed. A lot of comments were against him, but nevertheless. Ali London said it's a dark day for America and the world, getting 423 likes. Let's see here. Libercat Media TM says, I'll say this again. In this picture of, oh, is that Pelosi? They all have masks on, so it's hard to say. Mala, Pelosi, and Biden, and it says, your enemy is not in Russia. They got 1.1 thousand likes. Anonymous says, he got convicted by a jury for falsely, or falsifying business records. Usually people go to jail for this, but Trump won't see a day of prison. That's a true injustice, uh, true injustice here, unquote. Another contrary statement, that got 12,000 likes. And no, they don't. I mean, he's legally considered a misdemeanor. That's why they had to trump it up. So, yeah, people don't normally go to jail for that instance. Harry Sisson says, this was not trivial. This was Trump covering up a scandal 
uh, illegally so he can get elected. He was found guilty of 34 felonies by a jury of his peers. Stop undermining the justice system with his garbage. Another contrarian statement. Maybe this is the total. Well, not con maybe it's not a contrarian statement. Maybe most of the statements are disagreeing with Elon. That got 13,000 likes. Let's see here. Gnosis Wolf says, Trump Town USA, population, all state Americans, millions of people soon to be deported illegals. It says, just to remember, this chick owes Trump 300K for making false accusations about him. It's a picture of sloppy da or Stormy Daniels. And yeah, she does, actually. That got 1.2 thousand likes. Paul Hookman says people are waking up to the corruption, getting 4.3 thousand likes. Paul Eagleman says it's a sad day in America, but the pendulum swings, getting 1.4 thousand likes, which... That'd be pessimistic. But I'm going to be pessimistic. I don't think the pendulum will swing. Republicans are, for the most part, there's a lot of ineptitudes on that side of the plow. That's saying someone who, throughout my life, I've thrown them a vote or two. I say it's because this is the same argument we've heard for years. Like, oh, don't do it. Don't, don't push too don't push too far, Democrats, because the Republicans are going to do the same back to you. And they never do. There's very few things where the Republicans actually push in terms of, you know, getting our rights back or decreasing taxes. They're very easy to walk all over. And I'm not happy with this. I think, usually, politically speaking, it's good when you have two different sides or multiple sides actually push for ideologies. Republicans mainly acquiesce. Now, not to get on my high horse or my soapbox. I should be told I don't even have a soapbox in the room. But nevertheless, I'm reminded of the time where Republicans had the House, they had the Senate, and they had the White House. And yet, they could not get suppressors off the NFA list, which would allow people to purchase a suppressor, also known as a silencer, with a standard 4473 background check and sales tax, which should not fall. That's also unconstitutional. should not have a sales tax for that. But nevertheless, they had the votes, they had the bill, and they did nothing. So now if you want to buy a suppressor, you have to pay a $200 tax stamp thanks to the 1934 NFA Act. You have to have your fingerprints taken, you have to have a photo ID taken, or rather passport photo style taken, and long pay in the, pay in the rear process, which for individuals now is faster. It takes like maybe between 2 and 14 days, and through a trust, which is best for family planning, that takes about, you know, 4 to 6 months still. And yet, Republicans, they said they were going to get this, we're, we're going to fight for your gun rights. So, let me know in the Do you think the pendulum will really swing back? If Republicans somehow manage to get back in power, will they really do anything? Really? I mean, if they did, it would maybe reestablishment the old adage of mutually assured destruction, which was why we didn't see a hot conflict between the United States and the Soviet Union. But now, let's see if there's a couple more comments here. Alex says, the fact that Trump was convicted as a Criminal offender by independent jury in a fair and <laughs> fair and fact-paced trial strengthens the domestic system in the U.S. and proves that the legal system in the U.S. works because no one is above the law, no matter how rich or politically connected they are. May I remind this person that Biden also stored again another case against Trump: the storage of classified documents, the improper storage of classified documents. Biden also did that. He didn't get charged because his DOJ found that well, he's not mentally capable of standing trial. So he's capable, apparently, to be president, but not to stand trial. I should really try, I should really bring, get some pins, see if you can actually hear the pin drop. I mean, the microphone's good, about I don't think it's but nevertheless, you get what I'm saying. But that did get 5.6 thousand likes. Let's see here. Red Pill USA says Trump has been indicted and charged, yet not a single one of Epstein's clients were named, well, has been named. Got 1.4 thousand likes. PD says, if you were silent when Michael Cohen was convicted of paying hush money to Stormy Daniels, you should be silent about Trump being convicted for ordering him to do it. No one is above the law. Got 9.3 thousand likes. Tom Fitton says the election has officially been compromised, getting 2.7 thousand likes. G, uh, yeah, I believe that's how I pronounce his name. Uh, G. Van Fleet says, communism is taking over America. Here's one important history lesson every American needs to know. No one is safe under communism, not even the communists themselves. They got 2.1 thousand likes. Let's see. Sandy says, speaks for herself, it says, leaders who have their political opponents arrested. And you, of course, have Joseph Stalin, Adolf Hitler, Xi Jinping. Well, not him, that would be a little too, well, a little bit, a little bit of previous authority and slips and sees, you know, in charge. But now says, nevertheless, that is Mao. And then you have Biden. All smile. Oh, he smiled. But uh, that got 3.3 thousand likes. Let's see. Kenosis Wolf says, the, only, the one man they truly fear is Trump, or, um, is that mugshot getting 430 89 likes? Uh, a lot of people posting the American flag upside down, saying, you know, 1776 to 2024, getting 672 likes. So this is, uh, like many political things, this is about a 50 50 split in terms of people who support the verdict and are against the verdict. 
this is too funny. Oh, there's a couple random pictures, but let's see here. Nevertheless, it'll be interesting to see if Elon starts to, because again, Elon's, I mean, kind of, he seems more, if I were to guess, libertarian. I know in the past he's, you know, pro, um, promoted Democrats or support Democrats openly, but it'll be interesting to see if he just comes out and says, you know, I'm all in on Trump or does something bombastic like that. There's rumors he's always trying to get, trying to get an exclusive X interview with Trump or have a town hall there. So that'd be very interesting. Obviously great for the X Twitter platform to bolster kind of exclusive content and give people more of a compelling reason to go visit. But let me know, do you think, and again, another thing Elon has to think about, which again, he does have FU money, so it really doesn't matter at this point, but do you think this will actually decrease the sales of any of the products or services he sells? There was a while where you know, he was more, when he let Trump back on X Twitter, I believe a lot of people were calling Tesla's MAGA mobiles, which, I mean, April 1st, it would have been hilarious if, if Elon actually, like, had it say that on the home screen or have a red hat. Like, he could have leaned into it and made it a joke, but again, it was a, it was a pejorative statement, and there's a lot of people I know who started to move away from the brand, partially because he was associating Trump with that. So, let me know in the comments. As always, I'd be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month, so if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone, just stay safe, fight the good fight.